Welcome everybody to the Genesis Mindset. Today is another episode of Mobic Monday. So I'm just going to be filling you in on some updates. Mobic has been making moves in the background. Bitmobic has been making moves. So let's get into the episode with some very exciting news. So Yonsei University. So there now has been a contract with Yonsei University and another contract, plus a few little extra details that I'll be covering in this particular episode. So first of all, Yonsei University is the second best university in South Korea. And so what they've actually done is they've teamed up with a professor to work on an NFT project based on Bitmobic. So the NFT projects, as you may or may not know, Bitmobic is a fork of Bitcoin. So anything that is created on Bitmobic can also be implemented on Bitcoin. So now that they're starting to develop NFTs on Bitmobic, this is extremely good news because this is going to lead into future developments on Bitcoin. So this is a tripartite contract between Mobikers. So Bitmobic, Professor Hong. So I'm going to go into a little bit of details about Professor Hong in just a moment. Professor Hong's research center and a pet company. And what they're doing is they're generating NFTs of the pets. So this is just step one. So a very cute little project. Now, why am I so bullish on South Korea in general? Now, these days, IQ is actually not that important, particularly with artificial intelligence. And it's actually quite a big problem in South Korea, but they are the world leaders on average IQ in 2024. So they're a very highly competitive country. They work extremely hard. They're a very smart and intelligent forward thinking nation. This is why I'm very, very bullish on everything that comes out of South Korea. Also, the meditation that I practice has come from South Korea as well. So I'm very bullish on anything that comes out of South Korea. So this is why I think something like this is very important because they really are on the cutting edge of innovation. Now, Professor Jin Ki Hong. So he has around 200 patents. So he has a research center, he has around 200 patents, and he has around 60 patents that are relating to energy that basically puts energy, expelled energy from the body back into the body just with clothing and beauty products, for example. So I have actually seen some of these patterns. Very, very cool. The way that just there's no, there's no like, like, for example, a shirt and the shirt that you're wearing puts the energy that you're losing from your body from exercising back into the body and regenerates the body at a faster rate. Those little micro millimeters of extra energy is huge in performance. And this is where big, big companies are actually trying to capture his attention. I have heard, uh, I have heard basically like with Formula One companies, he's working with Formula One companies. So like he's 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 a very well renowned and respected professor all around the world. He has around 40 patents relating to cell cultured meat and even met with, oh, that's supposed to say the UN for food projects in African countries for his patented cell cultured meat. So this is lab grown meat. This is an idea that I'm personally very bullish. Both of these ideas, I think are absolutely brilliant. Lab grown meat, I think is a fantastic idea. It's going to present all kinds of issues, but I think in principle, it's a fantastic idea, particularly if it alleviates the issues with industrialized farming of animals. And he has lots of other patterns, including cell cloning. So this is Professor Jin Ki Hong right here. And I also have mad respect for him because he's a very busy man. He travels all around the world and he takes time to meditate. So shout out to you, Professor Hong. So we also have an M MOU. We have an MOU with one of the doctors associations in Korea. At the moment, there is no big details on this, but I wanted to just mention this because again, Bitmobic is really broadening out its outreach. So we had those four, the four areas that it was targeting with the public goods, IT, energy, universities, and media. So you want to check out the public goods video, go here. So now we're really starting to spread the network around. And what is the implications of all of this? The implications of all of this is the culmination into the metaverse. Bitmobic, as I mentioned earlier, can be used to develop projects for Bitcoin. And the metaverse is something that Professor Orr, the founder of Bitmobic, has really foreseen as an inevitability. I'm also of the opinion that the metaverse is an inevitability and we are already in elements of the metaverse now. I'm talking to you through a screen on my camera, 
with my camera and you're seeing, watching through your computer and it's not actually me, but you're listening to them thinking it's me. It, it, could, it could just be artificial intelligence for all you know. So this is what the metaverse is all about. And the culmination of the metaverse is really the culmination of the blockchain. It's the fourth industrial revolution, artificial intelligence. And it all, in my opinion, leads to the metaverse. So this is very valuable as Bitcoin continues to rise in value. And I would recommend... I'm going to be uploading the white paper video. It's uh, it's it's going to be about a seven to eight minute video. And I would strongly recommend really listening to that a few times as I was doing the voice recording for it. Ah, uh, it, I had to do it so many times because I kept making a mistake and I would record the whole seven minutes in one go, but it really started to sink into my mind. Ah, oh, now I'm really starting to understand what this enterprise blockchain is trying to achieve. It's basically trying to have... It's, it's trying to set up the metaverse in a way that can have trust. So it doesn't have all these, tr the trustless issues. So it's doing a lot of, it's doing a lot of things and I can't, I can't really explain it. Just go and watch that video when it, when it does launch. And we're also starting to see some of these early developments, obviously with NFTs and NFTs are going to be a huge part of the metaverse. The fact that you should be able to, if everything is interoperable and interrelated, then NFTs are going to be a massive part of that, being able to play a game and get a get a sword, the best sword in the game. Like when I played World of Warcraft and I had the Thunder Fury, which is the best sword in the game. Now, I should be able to like sell that sword to somebody else, but I couldn't. It's associated with the character, for example, or selling it into another game or exchanging it into, let's say, Fortnite. But you can't because it's limited to that game. There is no like true interoperability. The metaverse will be something that's truly interoperable, infinite possibilities and infinitely scalable to human imagination and artificial intelligence imagination. So with that very short and sweet episode, thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed. So just a tiny little update for Bitmobic and stay tuned. Take care.